What is going on guys? It is Power Bang. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. I've got a pretty cool one in store for you guys today. For those of you that don't know, it is my birthday. So, been celebrating with the family. They're actually hanging out in the back behind me somewhere. Uh, but I had a video that I had to record today. Had to get it out to you guys today because the number one thing that I get asked on the channel is how do I attack a Town Hall 9 base when I don't have my heroes up? What, what do I do if I don't have my king, if I don't have my queen, if they're upgrading? How do I get that taken care of? Well, I've got the answer. The best army for that will be in this video, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so we do have some new equipment in the uh, in the works right now. I've got a brand new, like literally as white as my hands, right? I mean, you can't even see my hands. Never mind. Never mind. Check my Twitter. I've got a brand new setup in the office. It's blowing my mind. Uh, got to give a big shout out to my dad for hooking me up with some gear uh, for the gaming setup here. Pretty pumped about it. It is fantastic. Uh, so that being said, go check that out on Twitter. But let's get into the action, guys. Uh, we had a war go down this weekend. I'm going to do... Uh I don't know if I want to say a full recap on this war, but I'm going to hit a lot of the war. This was a 50 versus 50 where we had 10 Town Hall, 10 triples, and even a Town Hall 11 triple. We did take out North Remembers, but wanted to highlight a couple key attacks from this one. Both of them from the same player. Now, I've given Red a hard time. What about Blue? Now, Blue, you're not getting a hard time from me, my man. He is going to be demonstrating here exactly what it takes to take down a Town Hall 9 base, being not only uh, not having heroes, but having pretty low-level heroes as well. So we got little Mini Bang coming onto the channel saying what's up. If you guys see him around in Clash of Clans, make sure you're nice to him, say hi and all that. So Mini Bang making an appearance in this video that is sure to go viral. Maybe. Anyways, uh, we've got a we've got a base here, guys. Pretty high level base, to be honest with you. Level thirty heroes, and Blue says, "I don't, I don't care. I know he's got his heroes loaded up, guys, but he's not even going to drop them on the field on purpose. And he's going to do that in both of his raids this episode. So it doesn't even matter uh, that he, you know, is is lower level or you know doesn't have his heroes up. He doesn't care. He's just going to go three star." Uh, a, a beefy Town Hall 9. So no big deal at all. First, he sends in three Lava Hounds to this first section. Guys, this is the crucial part. A Rage Bell is down. Take note of where that Queen is standing. Drop a Skeleton Spell on top of her while a Rage is active, and you can see those Skellies taking her out. Now, just rotational Laloon from this point. Come from around the sides of the base. You see those Balloons getting in. Taking everything down. Rage Bell dropped just perfectly taking out everything that he needs to. Still coming in from the top, still has one more balloon left over. That's going to come from the side over here, get the mortar, and then start making sure that those balloons kind of go the right way and don't get you know distracted uh, from the outside here. So we've got a heal spell for this last little compartment. One of the hounds here is tanking. It's about to blow up any moment. Kaboom! Come on, that was not on cue. I, I, I didn't practice that timing. There it is, kaboom! And here we've got the last little section. So one more Lava Hound is still alive. It is tanking, guys. But he's got pups cleaning up on the on the outside of the ring here. And he has uh, he has his heroes, like if he absolutely needed them here. But we're pretending like we don't have our heroes up. So very nice job to Blue here. Those balloons get into the last section here. And for those of you guys that aren't familiar with this strategy, this isn't oldie but goodie. This is the Penta La Loon. Penta La Loon meaning five Lava Hounds, 20 balloons in behind that, no CC lure. Now, you might be wondering, what about the CC lure? Uh, you can do a couple of things. If you feel like it's going to thwart your attack, you can drop a poison spell for that CC. Um, and it's, uh, you know, more or less taken care of. The only uh, exception to that is if they have a dragon in the CC that could pose some problems uh, for your army. Although I have seen dragons taken out as well inside of one poison, although it's much harder to do. But pretty much any other clan castle composition, you're looking pretty good coming out of that uh, that clan castle with a poison spell, um, you know, instead of one haste. So as you can see, no heroes uh, in this particular raid. Looking mighty fine, Blue, if I do say so myself. So Pentalalo was his uh, method of choice for taking out 
Uh, one of the guys from North remembers. And guys, this is a maxed out Town Hall 9. And Blue is far from maxed. He's got purple walls. Like, why is he in a CWL war? I don't know. Why? Why? That's the age-old question. Who knows? He made it in, though, and he six-packed for us in addition to defend it a few times. So he definitely pulled his weight in the war. Uh, mad props to my man, Blue. Next up, we're going to go check out another one of his raids. Uh, going over to my team. We'll scroll all the way down. We have another another of the exact same style hit this one is a fresh hit we'll go to replay two here i'm going to do a quick pause on the base and as you can see we do have fairly symmetrical air defenses so you can see that the pathing will be uh pretty consistent and predictable however the pathing does not cover all of these defenses on the outside here um it does a little bit but these could play kind of a role in uh taking out some of his balloons as he goes in so again kind of spread defenses on both sides he's gonna come uh just attack the base straight away in this one you see he's got three rage spells two haste spells so he's got an extra rage um, he's going heavy on the rage to try to get, you know, as many of those balloons covered as possible. And if they do happen to split up a little bit and there's only one balloon on a particular defense, it should take out that defense with one drop as long as it's in a rage spell. So in addition to that big thing that you got to pay attention to guys, this again, maxed out queen level 30. You got to watch for that queen. Where is she going to go and stand for a moment when like, here's the key point. If she's locked onto a lava hound, realize the health of that lava hound and watch the queen because she will follow that hound all the way across the base continuing to jump wall over wall over wall until the lava hound is stopped on the air defense once the lava hound is stopped on the air defense and the queen stops to shoot at the lava hound that's when it's safe to drop your skelly spells if the queen is firing at balloons you want to drop the skeleton spell as quickly as possible on her because the uh, the balloon, the current target that she's firing at, once it goes down, you don't want her to lock on to more balloons. You want her to lock on to skellies that are right next to her, and that takes her out of the game completely immediately. So let's go ahead, start the raid here, and we'll see exactly which side he comes from. There it is from the bottom. A couple of Lava Hounds, notice the angle of entry, how he comes from the bottom right and also the bottom left, and this helps him get uh, some value here with these first balloons. Now, into the expo we go, and we are starting to go around to the left. Now, as you can see, the queen, like we talked about, is locked onto the Lava Hound, and it is on the air defense, so you know she's not going to move. So the Skellies are going to take her out. She is done. Skellies are in cleanup mode now and can help out. And then it's just a rotational Lalo going around the outside of the base. Hay spells down, kind of speeding everything up, following those Lava Hounds around the base. And they are doing a great job tanking. Still has a Rage and a Haste left and a Poison if he needs it. Uh, but it doesn't look like he's going to need it. So much value here. A uh, whole lot of balloons left over. And the hounds are down at this point, which means he's got a ton of cleanup. You can see over here on the left side, everything's getting taken care of. He's, he's even got some pups on the bottom right side. And he gets a nice little loon split here to take out these archer towers. They go over. Uh, one of them is going to be locking onto a cannon. It goes down. But the last air targeting building is down. Gets a nice loon split. And that is that. So looking at the cleanup, it's all like it didn't seem like a ton of cleanup at first, but look at how many of these Lalo, La, Lalo pups, La, Lalo pups, power bang coined the phrase. So lava pups right here going around the outside of the base. In addition to the skellies, this thing gets cleaned up awfully fast. Same thing on the other side. We've got the balloons that were left over. You've got lava pups. You've uh, got the town hall in the middle getting taken out. So the Penta Laloon guys is hands down the best strategy to use at Town Hall 9 if you do not have your heroes up. Notice on both raids, Blue, all hail Blue, he has not dropped his heroes on either one. He had them. They're level 17 and 15 in a CWO war with all maxed accounts. So he was like, nah, well, whatever. Let's just not even drop them. See what we can work with. So hopefully, guys, that was helpful for you. I know that uh, that's literally the number one question that I get asked on the channel is, how the heck can I take out bases if I don't have my heroes up? Well, that's how, guys. Right there. 
Penta La Lune. Anyways, I've got some more celebrating to do for my birthday. I'm getting to be an old man. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, guys, if you like the video, if you love the Clash of Clans content, make sure you smack the like button for me and subscribe for more Clash of Clans and Brawl Stars content. I will be back in the near future with another video. Take care, guys. This is Power Bang. I am signing out. Till next time, guys. Take care. <laughs>